Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to another video here in Doha. And I am going to be doing some exploring today with Sahabte, the girlfriend here, Mabel. And uh, actually, guys, I gotta start off by saying I screwed up. It's already sunset, but it's only 5.20 p.m. That was one thing that shocked me about Doha, is that the sun in October is already setting, literally at 5 p.m. I'm used to like suns setting from where I grew up in the Midwest in the United States at like 5 p.m. in the middle of winter. And so I kind of messed up the schedule, was hoping to grab a boat for sunset, but we're gonna get post sunset. If we make it there in time, negotiate a Dow boat because from what I've been told, it is a top thing to do in this city. So uh, we're gonna be taking you guys uh, for a little boat cruise and hopefully it's not too dark where you can see it on the camera, but hey, it's gonna be an adventure. So we've got our man taking us down over to the Dow Boat Harbor right now, which is about a 12 to 16 minute drive. It looks like we're leaning more on the 16 minutes because it's about 5.30 p.m. right now. And uh, we shall uh, see you when we get down there. So are you excited to do some exploring of Qatar today, my love? Yes, of course. Yeah, she's been at the hotel basically for the last uh, 48 hours. Yeah, tikila afing. Thank you. Working pretty hard, so yeah. you're, it's about time she makes it out of the house and mm -hmm. uh, gets to see some of this place. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have just arrived down to the Dow Harbor, and you so can see. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, oh, how much, my friend? How long time, sir? Uh, what's your uh, offer for us? Yeah, half an hour, 15 minutes, one hour, work price. And uh, what are the price differences? 15 minutes, 80 real, half an hour, 150 real, one hour, 250 real. Oh, work choice. is that negotiable? Sorry? Is that negotiable? Uh, negotiate? Yeah. Cut. No. Uh, no, like uh, we can uh, negotiate uh, a different price. price. Good price for us? Yes. Yeah. Give hey. us a good Cut. price? Yes. Good price for an hour? Yeah, one of our very nice pillars. One of our all corners surrounding. We have wow. Shy, you know, this guy, no, no, no. This one have a queen, two people. So one it's a shared one. boat? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Already finished. Already finished. Yeah, nice this guy. one have a uh, people, one of our going, finish. Uh, no. One hour? Yeah. And they were happy with one hour? Yeah. So we'll be happy with one hour? Yes. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, we can do that. One hour is good too. All right, perfect. And uh, the price for one hour? One hour, 250 real, sir. Oh, 250. <laughs> we have but two you know, people. So, so long time. Half an, uh, 15 oh. minutes, 80 real. Half an hour, how much? 150. <coughs> one hour, 200, uh, 250, 50 real discount. 300, but uh, 50 real discount, 250. Ooh, ooh. How about we uh, settle for 200? Oh, 220, okay. 200 final offer. 200? Okay. That's good? Okay. All right. Where are you from? India. India. Ah, Danivad Baisab. Aapka naam kya hai? Pikas. Pikas? Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. So no secrets around me because I speak Hindi. <laughs> All right. Welcome aboard, Ya Elbe. All right. So we've got the boat here and we're going to be cruising with El Capitan. This is called a Dao boat. We got a microphone the so she can sing. Mm -hmm. Yalla, I want to perform. Oh yeah, and we're taking back the uh, the dock here. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, talking we're, talking, we're talking five star seat now, babe. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, there we go. So guys, basically the uh, Dao boat, to like a traditional boat that's really, really popular here in Qatar wow. to go for like an evening cruise. They've got so many of them. I'd say I think we got a uh, pretty fair price. It's uh, roughly like probably 43, $47 for us two to have this whole boat to ourselves for one hour. So I'd say it's a pretty good price. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is a good price. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to be cruising along the skyline. Probably I think we'll just like stay in the harbor area and uh, have a nice evening chill vibe. We literally could have invited like a hundred right. friends with us. Literally. But uh, we don't have any friends here in Qatar that we've met yet. So uh, there's a couple that uh, we probably should have invited. To fill yeah. this boat up. But hey, we got a performer here. So. Yeah. Perform for you. Mm. As you guys can see, there are so many boats all along here. So I'm sure uh, probably you can even negotiate it for an even better price. But if you come here on the World Cup, I bet these are all going to be packed with people. They'll probably be loading these up, turn them into boat parties here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty chill. Overall, we're gonna be able to see the uh, city skyline in just a few moments wow. once we get out of the harbor. You guys, the one thing about Doha is that it is a very lit city. You can see right here along the coastline, 
and pretty soon once we get a bit further out there you'll see basically the entire bay and from every direction it is so lit up it looks like we got the competition coming over this way all right good evening Vice up. Can we get a little music on, my friend? Oh yeah. Let's put on your preferred playlist. Where, where in India are you, are you from? Uh, India, uh, Kolkata. Kolkata? You know Kolkata? Ah, near uh, uh, Bangladesh. No. Uh, India, Bangladesh, India border. Near border. Border, near Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I haven't been. I've only been to Kerala, Rajasthan, and Delhi. Yeah, yeah. Daniavad Baisab, should I be captain? Yeah. Alright. I'm taking baby, I'm taking over! I am in charge! Oh. You can call me Captain Nomad, Kayete. We're steering us out. Full speed ahead, my friends. Full speed ahead! Alright, well if we take this thing in some serious waters, it might be a repeat of the Titanic here. <laughs> but don't worry, Rose, I'm gonna save you. Check. Yes, my love. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're out here cruising. We are out here cruising. This thing is pretty fast. We're going a solid uh, about 6.37 kilometers per hour, heading straight into Doha, Spain. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. We're hitting some rough waters here. We're hitting some rough waters. What do you think, Bicep? We're doing well? <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're heading out. Do you have any uh, drinks on here? Do you sell any drinks? Drinks? Yeah. Oh. No? All right. Figured we'd double check. All right, as Capitan, we're letting you take over again. Hey, you want to drive? Me? Oh, no. Yeah, that thing will probably pull you in. All right, man, we are heading up to the front of the boat. We're starting to get a little wobbly there. She looks like she's been drinking. Oh, it's true. Whoa, whoa, cut her off. All right, my friends, as you can see, the beautiful skyline of Doha. You make Mac go mad. And this is the skyline, my friends. Welcome to Doha. Doha. And this is it. A beautiful skyline. We've got a uh, fellow boat coming to take our views here. This is our spot, my friend. Land ahoy. Land ahoy. Oh. See guys, we are really close now to the whole city skyline. That is a beautiful view. Honestly, coming here at night, I wanted to catch sunset, but uh, I wanted to actually have it be like sunset going into nighttime. But like, even if you are like us and you don't make it in time for sunset, nighttime is so, so beautiful. Especially when you got Habib T on the board to dance with. Uh, I can't even share with you guys most of the clips because of copyrighted music, but We'll show you a little snippet of what's going on. This probably looks familiar. We are coming back to the port where we got dropped off at. Yeah, it's a cool little nighttime excursion. Nice way to just kind of get a feel for the city. And it just like kind of puts everything into perspective. So when you look at the map of Doha, you're just like, okay, here's downtown. Here's where the souks are. Here's the pearl. When we take the cruise out into the bay, you can just literally get the full feel for it. It's actually a smaller city than probably when I first got here, I felt like it was. like. Pretty easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. You've probably seen one of my previous videos. I took the metro, super easy to get around. And so, yeah, this is kind of like a nice little cherry on top for it. So it's time to pay our man and uh, keep moving, my friends. Oh, Donny Vod Bicep. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's See you. Yalla. Yalla. Mm. Donny Vod Bicep. Oh, Donny oh. I almost went in, almost lost it. Until next time, Shufkun.
Switching off <laughs> languages. <laughs> of course. <laughs> See you all later. Ariban inshallah. Ariban inshallah. Oh yes. And, oh, we're getting to the pearl. Ooh. You know the pearl is actually a pearl? It is a real pearl. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. We've got a massive fountain built right into it. Oh, hello. They're honking because they saw my bell. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. So here we go. Ah. This is the legendary pearl right here. Oh, it's ah. beautiful. So I think all along this area, they have built a bunch of like specific statues that relate to Qatar. So we're going to take this little path right here. And honestly, guys, this is our first time going out at night. But like the lighting design they have to this city is incredible. You can see the street lights are palm trees hanging over. But then you look at the bike path and it's like lit up in almost like a romantic way. I feel like we're walking down like a resort in Bora right now, like in the evenings. You know how they like light up the uh, the borders of it. So it's uh, it's well done, Qatar. Yeah, very nice. I don't feel like I'm at night. Like, like it's night. There's a lot of lights. Yeah, true. Looks like right over here we're coming across some sort of like, I don't know, I guess maybe you would call it a palace? Or... Yeah, it's got to be some sort of like government building, I would assume. I'm looking at it closely on the map here. It looks like it's called the Amiri Diwan. Uh, government office, okay, so I was right. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Big flag hanging over the top. Very beautiful. And, uh... It looks almost surreal. Yeah, it does it look like surreal. like a palace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What a nice government building. Compared to some other countries where I've seen government buildings, that's uh, quite an impressive one. But, yeah, but... And you guys probably can't, oh, you can probably see actually because of the lights wow. behind it. But coming up in here, you can see all of the flags. I'm assuming probably they're still constructing this area because I would guess that once the World Cup starts, all these flags will be lit up. But you can see the sign in front of all of those flags is, or not the sign, but I guess the structure statue is that Qatar sign. There? Oh yeah, we're gonna go over there and see what's cooking. Yeah! As they say, what's cooking good looking? Oh. <laughs> All right, and we are arriving to the main stage. FIFA World Cup 2022. Good evening. <laughs> I'd love to be an announcer at the FIFA World Cup. Hello, hello, good to see you too. Yes, yes. Mabel's doing autographs later. Uh, <laughs> They're honking at you. Uh, wow, and look at this. We even have a countdown. 47 days, zero hours, eight minutes, 33 seconds. You will never see the signage at the exact moment we've seen the signage. Wow. Wow. Coming soon. Here you go, my friends. Qatar World Cup. 47 days, six minutes, and one second. See you then. Uh, just kidding, guys. That was only about four seconds later, and I'm here. Wasn't going to wait for you guys to see a video until uh, 46 days from now. Let's put it this way. It's already came to life, but it's honestly like coming to life to a whole new level to be able to take in the... I don't know how many tourists are expected to be. I would guess like hundreds of thousands. I think that's probably a fair guess. So, yeah. These are the flags from, I think, a lot of the teams. It's not all the teams that are playing. We got Brazil. Simon, that's for you, brother. <laughs> Germany, Flo Doggy Dog. Where you at? Qatar. We got Der Suisse, Swiss, Switzerland, how you think? There's a bunch more. We were walking down the street, we weren't filming yesterday, and she named like uh, 30 of the flags out of 50. I was like, oh. Katir Miha. A world traveler right and here. And singer. Wow. And Mabruk ya Elbe. Thank you, baby. All right, my friends, we are going to go ahead and call an Uber, grab some dinner back at the hotel. So let's head on over there. Wow, guys, that's what we call a great Uber pickup. Oh, Yusuf, come back. I was one minute away. He was one minute away, and now he's nine minutes away. Yusuf! Nope, we lost him. All right, good news. We got my guy Tanvir coming on over here. We'll see you in one minute, it looks like. Good evening, Tanvir. Hey, bro. You are the taxi. Oh, thank you, brother, but uh, I already got the Uber here. You understand taxi? Uh, you understand taxi? Yeah, but uh, my guy's here, brother. He's on the phone right now. These people also help me. Thank you, brother. Yeah. All right. Tanvir. Tanvir. Oh, Tanvir, there you are. Oh, yeah. 
Good evening, Tanvir. How are you? So what it? So what it? Pullman, as you can hear from the GPS in the background. Hello, Pullman. It's been a while. <laughs> wow, how'd you know to say that? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, this is the one. All right, we're back in the uh, hotel. Hello, good evening. We've got the Score Sports Bar, or we've got Avenue. It looks kind of nicely lit over here. Mm -hmm. To have a little something, something. Oh, you're staring at those desserts, aren't you? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone's hungry? All right. Sure. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I guess, please. Yeah. You'd like to Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. That sounds great. Same with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 3004. Good. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Let's do yeah. that. Yeah. After you, my love. Thank you, baby. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah next to each other. Yeah. Oh, yes, my friends. We have a lot of good options to try here. Soups, main course, sushi rolls, appetizers, Broadway. Oh, oh, baby, baby, that's looking good. Beef burgers. We have some oven dishes like kebabs, lentil soup, Turkish-style peed. Mm, 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 mm. Welcome. Hello, yeah. how are you? Good news. Uh, what? Uh, how are you? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Very good, very good. Thank you. I think we're going to go ahead and start out with a little glass of Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go for the ramen soup along with the California roll. Or maybe this. Actually, no, I'm thinking I'm going to go for the spicy tuna roll. I'll take the California roll. Oh, yeah. Are you thinking about California roll with uh, what for the starter? Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh, what for? Oh, this? that's on the menu. Where's yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking for starter? Okay, for starter. Turkish pied. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> mm, I'm still figuring out. Should I take a soup? Mmm. But I hear the tomato soup here is really good. And Jed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I should try it. Yeah, it's Katir Taibe. Mm. Fitting for you. <laughs> oh, Stimson, all right. Well, we might have to have you test it then. Did. She has a, uh, uh, there's a 0% chance you won't like it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Would you like to taste it now? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I ask her every time, because I'll always say yes, and so will she. <laughs> Smell it first. Mm-hmm. Wow. Connoisseur. Yeah. Approved. <laughs> yeah, approved. perfect. Thank you so much. Approved, yeah. <laughs> so how would you compare this one to the Italian restaurant we ate at? This one was <laughs> This one tastes sweeter, I guess. Oh wow, alright, Mabruk. <laughs> Wine connoisseur. Thank you so much. This so one has a different taste, but I don't know what that is. Mm. So we just opened it. So if you give it a few minutes to breathe, it'll really open oh, up. Oh, okay, really get perfect. That proper flavor. That's profile. fantastic. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much. Very much. So we're gonna let that breathe I for a wine. few moments there. I love wine. Yeah, that wine is delicious. Yeah. It's your favorite uh, alcoholic beverage? Yeah. Not Honestly, I I don't drink much alcohol, but wine is. Uh, my favorite. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's, it's a great good. little evening chill, yeah, it romantic is. feel when you're uh, post boat ride dancing away. Thank you. This does the trick. Yeah. Well, cheers, my love. Casey. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Very good flavor. Mm -mm, good. It's really good, huh? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> As you guys can see, they just brought out some fresh bread. Oh, yeah, you can feel the fresh. insides and it's warm. Mm, it's very fresh. Oh, look at that. Mmm, squishy. And then look at this butter. It's got like some seasoning built into nice, it. Huh? She's like, that's the best looking presentation for butter I have ever seen. It's 
grab a little piece of that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh. La, 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 la. Whoops. You want me to help you? Hey, Mbala. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Yep. Oh, there we go. Toss that thing. Oh, <laughs> hold on. One moment. You guys, you got to realize I'm holding the camera while doing this, so. Yeah, I could have done it. Oh, thank you, my love. Just <laughs> toss that on right there, and then we'll just go ahead and bite down right there. Mmm. Mm. That is really nice. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Very nice, huh? So nice. The way this is baked is the outer layer has a really nice crunch to it. And then you have a warm inside and the butter just melts right into it when you take a bite down. Thank you very much, Monum. Thank you so much. Oh, how does it taste? Wow, I've never tasted something like that before. It's very unique. Mm, the bread and seasoning? Yeah. Yeah, it's very much different unique. than and, and the presentation is super unique. Like yeah. when you see the the butter, you're like, ooh, I want to try it. Yeah, it just but looks tasty. Very tasty. There's, tasty. there's something about food presentation. The nicer it's I presented, know. the more tasty it actually is. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, guys, after some delicious bread, the sushi has arrived. So as you can see, we have some Come tuna. Look at that. Oh, yeah, come on. We're moving right over. Mm -hmm. Look at that wasabi. It literally... Look at the the detail in there. They literally have small little wow. things. So like small little lines, so it looks like a plant. But it's a thing of wasabi. And she got the California roll. Mm -hmm. And it looks it's like, what is, what is that top down there? Is that like an onion? That's Let's try it. Crab, baby. Oh, that's crab on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, satan. So let's go ahead, we'll pop this thing right open. Mm. Oh. I lost a tooth. <laughs> I literally said, doink, doink. <laughs> you know like when you're watching a cartoon and you hear, doink. Yeah, that was it. So we're gonna go ahead and toss that thing right in there. Oh, the tuna's falling off. Mm. Let's get this thing. Mm. In Lebanon, basically, they put something here to make it easier, so right now... Oh, yeah, in Lebanon, they put a rubber band, yeah. so they're actually like the uh, training wheels chopsticks. Yeah. Let's see if you can do it. Huh. Oh, mabruk! Yeah, but I know it's wrong, though. My technique yeah. is bad. If it works, it works. Mm-hmm. Mmm, sahtan! Mmm, mm. Wow. Delish? Delish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well that's exactly what I'm having right here. Oh, let's do another one. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can tell how fresh the ingredients are. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I will say if I'm honest, it's one thing Lebanon can't compete with um, Doha as well as in Dubai really really good and fresh sushi yeah in both of these places like for the middle east in terms of like the best sushi i've had it's definitely been in now doha but also in dubai in the past it's just the ingredients are so so fresh i had some good ones in lebanon and i'm talking lebanon for those of you guys who haven't followed me before because i was just in the country i've had some good sushi but the ingredients here are just whew, wow very good. how would you how would you rate it like compared to lebanon compared to lebanon like, uh, for me, it's a 9.9. Nine, nine nine. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ho ho. Honestly, it's really so good. So it seems like she's happy. Yeah, very happy. You ever use wasabi on there? No. Oh, yeah, you gotta use the green stuff. Get a nice little spice. Can I try yours? Well, smart, try it before I eat it all. <laughs> I didn't even Some, ask. Sometimes that happens. Mm. You wanna try mine? Mmm. Oh. Oh, baby, baby. Mmm. That is fantastic. Baby, As you guys right. can see, I have taken down that entire plate of sushi already. Not and bad. Habibti's loving it over there too. She's only got two remaining. And then it is time to uh, chow on the final part. So at first look, you might think oh, that's oh. a small soup, oh. but uh, oh. actually... Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Continue, continue. But actually, that tomato soup is being freshly poured. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, you can smell the fragrance in the air now from the uh, freshly made soup. Yeah. And then right over here, 
Oh, that is the Turkish pide. Thank you so much. Oof. Baby right. wants mine. What? You want mine? No. Anjad? Bada. Yeah, Where always, always. Oh no, just a small mm. one, a small bite. Oh yeah. Wait, I need to eat the... Uh, mm. Oh, it's hot. Oh, careful mine. Mm. Oh, should I put it? Thank you. All right, so we've got a fresh piece of Turkish. Mmm. Mmm. Pide. Mmm. Thank you. And that is fantastic. Nice flavored cheese. And the uh, sujuk on top of there, I'll tell you, that cooked right in there gives the cheese a special flavor. I would say it's like a, almost like a sauceless pizza. I've actually had this when I was in Turkey, but it's always interesting to try delicacies in other countries to see how they put their own twist. Like there's actually like, for example, in the US, I love the US Mexican food. I also love Mexican traditional food, but like they both have their almost like own versions of it. And uh, now trying the uh, Turkish pide here. I'm very impressed with that. Mmm. 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 Mm. You guys are probably like, really? You had something similar to pizza again? Yeah, I mean, I love it though, so. Some things will never change. Mm -mm. Oh, Monem's hooking us up. Thanks. Cotton candy. Berry cloud. Oh. oh, this is so cute. This is combination of yuzu juice. Ooh. Yuzu is uh, Japanese lemon, plus uh, mm. fresh uh, raspberry mm. and lychee. Ooh, wow. that sounds great. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. You have to pour for me if you want me to assist you to for pouring or you Yeah yeah, we'll take we'll take your recommendation. Okay. Oh. Yeah, can, there, yeah? There's yeah. a special way to do it. Oh, he's doing it right on top of the cotton candy. Wow. Oh. Whoa. So we get milk after that. Oh wow, I've never seen anything like that in my life. And, uh, this now is one of fantastic. our signature mocktail here. Alright, let's try this out. So we used some cotton candy, some lychee, and a few other flavors. Mmm. So nice. That's such a nice flavor. Wow. Wow. I didn't know what to expect with the cotton mm. candy, but it just morphs right into that. Mmm. Nom, nom, wow. nom, nom, nom. I could have called delish, my love. Very delicious. Mm. Saha ya elbe. Thank you, my baby. I just finished mine in one gulp, guys. Whew. That was so good. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, video. This is the avenue at the Pullman Doha Hotel Resort. Really, really good food. The drinks are amazing. They just surprised us with this one. Wasn't expecting it. And, mm. and that was a mocktail, too. So don't worry. If you want to get like a cool festive drink and you're not into alcohol, they've got those options for you. And they are so, so good. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.